Welcome back to Garage Matters. Today, we'll be talking audio systems. Welcome back to Garage Matters. If you have an iPhone and a Kenwood head unit, I'll show you how to screen mirror those two devices so you can watch Netflix or YouTube on your head unit while utilizing your car's stereo system. Now, if you haven't already done so, you want to go into the App Store and download the Mirroring for Kenwood app. Once this app is downloaded, you want to hook up the USB cord to your iPhone and then come over here to the head unit and go into the settings. Once you're in the settings, you want to select USB mirroring. Once that's done, you want to come back to your iPhone, swipe down, and come here to the record function. You want to press and hold the record function right here, and then select mirroring for Kenwood. Once you hit start broadcasting, it's going to mirror your iPhone onto the head unit. Now the bad thing about these iPhones and these Kenwood head units is that they're not really compatible. All these touch functions right here, you totally lose them. But if I had an Android, it would retain all these touch features and I could use the head unit to navigate. Now let's get out of the screen and go watch some YouTube. Now I'm just scrolling down on my phone through my videos on my YouTube channel. I think we're gonna watch Travel Sea Explorer Narita Sun Japan. This is a five minute video, but it has some music that we can listen to. And then I'll show you some of the features on this Kenwood head unit as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and go full screen. I'm gonna move this phone out of the way. All right, so we got the phone down here, mirroring the head unit up here. So up here, take a look at this head unit real quick so like I was saying you lose the touch capability when you touch it this is all that happens you can't control the features from the phone from here but while it's still screen mirroring you can still come into these functions down here into the head unit and utilize the settings we're gonna go ahead and go into the menu system go to audio system so all these settings in here you can still adjust without messing up the screen mirroring function once you're done making your adjustments to get out of it, you're just going to hit the home button right here. Come down here to the settings right here. And then just click back here where it says USB mirroring and it's going to continue mirroring your screen. I'm going to turn up the volume a little. gonna do it for Garage Matters and if you're interested in taking a five minute trip to Japan I'll leave the link in the description below and remember join us next time on Garage Matters and hit that like and subscribe button